Today's topic is vitiligo. Vitiligo is a skin disorder in which smooth white areas, called macules or patches, appear on a person's skin. It generally starts on the hands, forearms, feet, and face. Globally, about 1% or so of the population has vitiligo. Most people who have vitiligo will develop the condition prior to age 40. About half develop it before age 20. Vitiligo may have a genetic component, as the condition tends Symptoms. to run in families. Vitiligo is sometimes associated with other medical conditions, including thyroid dysfunction. There is no way to determine if vitiligo will spread or remain confined to one location. Types of vitiligo Vitiligo can be generalized, which is the most common type, when macules appear in various places on the body. Segmental, which is restricted to one side of the body or one area, such as the hands or face. Eucosal, which affects mucous membranes of the mouth and or the genitals. Focal, which is a rare type, in which the macules are in a small area and do not spread in a certain pattern within one to two years. Trichome, which means that there is a white or colorless center, then an area of lighter pigmentation, and then an area of normally colored skin. Symptoms. White patches on the skin are the main sign of vitiligo. These patches are more common in areas where the skin is exposed to the sun. The patches may be on the hands, feet, arms, face, and lips. Other common areas for white patches are the armpits and groin, where the leg meets the body, around the mouth, eyes, nostrils, navel, genitals, rectal areas. Causes. Although the causes of vitiligo aren't completely understood, there are a number of different theories. Autoimmune disorder. The affected person's immune system may develop antibodies that destroy melanocytes. Genetic factors. Certain factors that may increase the chance of getting vitiligo can be inherited. About 30% of vitiligo cases run in families. Neurogenic factors. A substance that is toxic to melanocytes may be released at nerve endings in the skin. Self-destruction. A defect in the melanocytes causes them to destroy themselves. Vitiligo may also be triggered by certain events, such as physical or emotional stress. Because none of the explanations seem to completely account for the condition, it's possible that a combination of these factors is responsible for vitiligo. Diagnosis. Usually, the white patches are easily visible on the skin, but healthcare providers can use a woods lamp, which shines ultraviolet or UV light onto the skin to help differentiate from other skin conditions. Treatment. Repigmentation therapy. Light therapy. Camouflage therapy. Surgery. Counseling. Prevention. Since no one knows for certain what causes vitiligo, no one can tell you how to prevent it. In general, it is smart for everyone to practice safe sun exposure habits and to take good care of your skin. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.